You're watching the Utica Comets face off. The National Hockey League is set up this year, leaves a lot of room for young players to get some opportunities. Each NHL team has four to six AHL players on its taxi squad. Then add on top of that the five Comets players who have been called up by the St. Louis Blues already this season, and there's a lot of opportunity here in Utica. One of those young players is Jack Rathbone, who joins us now. He left Harvard University two years early to make the switch and go pro. Vancouver Canucks kept him on their taxi squad to start the season before sending him to Utica, where he made an immediate impact with three assists in his first professional game. Jack, what was your mindset coming in after not having even played a game for an entire year before this? Yeah, I mean, it helps when you're playing with really good players. I think, uh, you know, playing with Woozy there pretty early on made, made things pretty easy. Um, and uh, obviously continuing to build that chemistry with, with everyone basically on the team. Um, but yeah, early on, I was just, it was more just pure excitement to be uh, playing hockey again. I think uh, being able to compete and take hits, make plays, all the little things that you, you kind of missed in terms of uh, practice reps. So I think, uh, yeah, I, I just came in there trying to work hard. And obviously you don't, you don't try and contribute as, um, from the point side as much. You kind of just focus on trying to make the right play, um, try and get into the forwards hands, especially being a D man, try and get into the forwards hands, let them make plays. So uh, no, it's been good so far and hopefully we can keep things going. When you were at Canucks training camp and on the Vancouver taxi squad and now here in Utica watching the guys around you, what do you take away from seeing other professional hockey players' games, especially when you know that a guy like Dakota Joshua was just here a few weeks ago before you came, he gets called up and then scores his first NHL goal in his first NHL game? Yeah, uh, I think Dakota was there before I, uh, before I got here, but no, it's really cool to see guys get rewarded for, for the hard work they put in down here. Um, just shows you how close you are to achieving your dream. And um, I think it gives you a little bit more, not that you need it, but a little bit more motivation every day coming to the rink, knowing that really any day it could be, um, you could be on a flight going to, uh, going to Vancouver, St. Louis. So, um, no, it's, it's definitely cool. How do you juggle and judge your success, though? How do you know that you're actually doing the right things on a day-to-day -day basis here? Yeah, I think um, especially coming down here and talking with uh, Vancouver's management and all the staff, both up there and down here, um, I think for me a lot of it's trying to round out my 200-foot game. Um, I think my strengths are obviously my creativity and uh, my offensive game, but I think when I'm, when I'm at my best, I think I'm moving my feet and I'm playing a full, full 200 feet. Obviously, being able to create create from uh, the red line um, towards their end, but being able to make a good first pass and then kind of be that fourth forward and being able to jump into the rush. So I think that's when I'm at my best. And I mean, just in terms of long term goals, obviously you want to play in the NHL, but I think um, down here, you know, going to the rink every day with that same mindset and trying to accomplish something. I think every single day is is something that I uh, the uh, the perspective that I've taken is going to the rink, whether it's video or off ice or um, obviously on ice, you're, you're going to get your reps in, but trying to accomplish something every day to get better and obviously achieve that dream. And Jack, who have your role models been so far that have kind of guided you along the way to a successful start to your career that you've had now? Yeah, I think obviously my parents, I think, uh, are two people that have been pretty um, influential in obviously my career and both on and off the ice. Um, my dad being my coach for a really long time, he, uh, he played hockey at Boston College and then was drafted by the Islanders and eventually played pro. Um, so I think him and him and my mom have been obviously the two most influential people in, in my life. And then I think both my little brother and sister, um, uh, obviously my younger brother was diagnosed with autism at a young age. So he kind of puts things in perspective for you. Um, and uh, the, the opportunity, you know, you've been afforded to play this game and play it at, at such a high level and hopefully make a career out of it is um, something that I definitely don't take for granted. So um, I think those two kind of uh, in the back of my head going to the rink every day is, is, uh, is something that 
again, like I said, not that you need the extra motivation, but if, if you do need to tap into it, it's there. Utica Comets forward Jack Rathbone of the Vancouver Canucks organization. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us and also introduce yourself a bit more to the community before tonight's game. So let's take one more quick look at Rathbone's numbers so far this year. In four games played, he has had five points. That leads the Comets in points per game. One goal so far, it was his first professional goal, scored last Wednesday. And helping out his teammates with four assists and just 21 years old, he's a young guy, this is one to keep your eye on. So it's almost time for puck drop against the crunch right here on WPNY. We'll have your Comets face-off pregame show before every Comets home game this season, so be sure to keep tuning in. On the other side of the break, we send it over to Comets broadcaster Jason Shia. And after the game, be sure to tune in to Eyewitness News first at 10 on WFXV, then Eyewitness News at 11 on WUTR for your game recap and highlights. So until then, everybody enjoy the game, and as always, stay friendly and stay tuned.